good morning to each and every one of you. Or good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Good afternoon, or good morning, or good night, or whatever. We live in one little planet called the Earth, and yet we are all in different time zones. Even in the United States, in which uh, we have our ministry, in which we live and enjoy the blessings of God, we also live in different time zones anywhere also. I want to wish each and every one of you out there on this day, this wonderful, beautiful Thursday, a happy Thanksgiving. We are celebrating a Thanksgiving in the United States of America. Uh, Canada had their own in October. Was that October 1st, Christine? Yes, October, yes. We had a very wonderful one. Okay. So Canada had their own in October. Yes. And um, Canada and United States are always the... I always see them as not different from each other. Uh, so when they celebrate, we join them to celebrate. When we celebrate, they join us to celebrate. Yes, we are celebrating with you. Good. Um, yeah. I want to use this opportunity to say to each of you in the 50 states, in the union, I want to say to all of you, from Texas all the way to Alaska, from Kansas all the way to Hawaii. From California all the way to New York. From South Dakota and North Dakota all the way to Maine and Montana. Virginia, Maryland. Delaware, Northern South Carolina, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, Alabama. I can go on and on and on. New Mexico, Arizona. Just name it, Tennessee. We are partners in every state you can think of in the Union. And not only that, I also am extending this wonderful opportunity to say thank you to all of you. And to every one of you in South Africa, David and your wife in South Africa. My goodness, I prayed such a powerful prayer to this young man. He is my personal investment. Christ's investment and my own personal investment. When I as a bishop chooses you to be my own personal investment, that's a different ballgame altogether. And this morning I'm going to be praying for each and every one of my partners, one of the most violent, most aggressive prayer that will release your dream and vision. As a thank you, as an appreciation to God. I think they are there is something that, uh, let me just make sure that there is uh, something going on there. Good. There we go. Hallelujah. This morning, this afternoon or evening where you are, I extend my thank you to those of you in the UK, those of you in wealth, Welsh, UK also, Birmingham, London, those of you in Switzerland, in Sweden, Denmark, 
Switzerland, Holland. Actually, there are churches in Holland that actually use our teachings and our videos to minister. And they are having testimonies of devils being cast out by the word that coming out of my mouth. Hallelujah. Those of you in Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, Ghana, South Africa, Nigeria. Those of you from Botswana, Lesotho, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique, Reunion, Mauritius, Madagascar, Grenada, Jamaica, Haiti, and all of my Canadians, including native Canadians. I want to thank each and every one of you in Oregon. Seattle, Washington, all of you from South Sudan, Somalia, those of you from Gambia, Senegal, Let us pray. Eternal Father, we give thanks unto you because your mercies endure it forever. There is none like unto you. That's the reason why we on earth that represent you and enforces your dominion on the earth. We will not allow any voice of darkness to speak. Neither will we tolerate any wicked human beings doing anything against your people. We will not allow any leader of nation that is wicked to continue to be in power. Hey! And every business of your people that were taken away from them, we reinstate them. We give you praise and thanks for what you've done for us. From November, from the Thanksgiving of last year, to the one of this year, we thank you. We appreciate you. We love you. Without you, we can do nothing because you are at the top holding what holds us. Thank you, Lord. This new seven-year period that we've entered, we are going to manifest wonderful things. The life of heaven will be manifested on the earth through us. We know it. In this new seven year period we've entered, we will achieve everything that we couldn't achieve since we were born. We will achieve them all. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we want to catalog our appreciation as we give ourselves, our money, everything we have, we give it for the work of the kingdom. Amen. We give it, Lord, so that we can have dominion. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Love, divine, power, divine. The technician of the Trinity, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The secretary, the word, the keeper of the book of the kingdom. Thank you, angels. 
for working with us as servants. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For sharing your heart with us. For sharing your eternal visions with us. Thank you, Lord. Let this prayer be documented in heaven forever. If nobody loves you, we love you. We care about you. Be blessed forever and ever, O oh God. Amen. And amen. And amen. 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 Let's look at the word chosen for today. Ha 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 ha. Do you guys want me to share with you an experience I had this morning? Yes. You see, God doesn't speak to me all the time. His word speaks to me all the time, so he does. But the Holy Spirit leads me all the time. But I'll tell you what happened this morning as I was sleeping. I began to hear this word. There are two powerful angels that have been released into my life. I'm hearing this voice talking to me in my sleep. There are two angels released into your life. I said, wow, I love this. I'm loving this. And then listen to what happened. You see, that is why it's very good to know what is happening in Christianity in heaven and on the earth. There are so many churches that are backward. They are not even in the 21st century. They are still in the, in the 15th century or more. You need to be in the 21st century. God is not in the 21st century. He is like 6,000 ahead of all of us. So we are only trying to catch up. We are playing catch up and we can't even catch up. Get this. Number one thing that happened is that my voice has changed. I discovered that my voice has taken up a different kind of tone and power. In those days when I speak with so much power, I'll have a headache, I'll be tired, I'll be this. But nowadays I discover that somebody dwells in me physically. Let's face it. Somebody dwells in me, inside my physical flesh. In my mind, my spirit has been taken over. And I know who it is. You see, that's what we call the highest form of ministry. I am entering into the highest form of doing ministry. And that is what we call the sonship ministry. The servant ministry. I rule because I'm a servant. I do not rule because I'm a tyrant. God is God because he also has brought himself to the level of servant. Jesus is doing ministry inside me and through me. But this is what he told me this morning. There are two angels that have been released to follow you. One. I mean, clearly I was told what they had to do. The first one, his job is to say I'm traveling. I will talk to him and tell the angel to book my air ticket to arrange for that flight. He's called, that's my ministry angel. He's to bring money. He's to bring money. For the ministry, which is the system, the, the ministry I have is what we call the kingdom of God. It is, it is the kingdom of God in operation. 
where there is a ruler. And that is Christ himself. And he rules through me. So that angel is to, is to bring money. Is to bring money. That's his job. Arrange for my travels. My books. CDs. DVDs. Television stations. Everything that has to do with the ministry, I should talk to him. He's directly in charge of it. I have been thinking about this for some years. But you see, I never really enforce it or try to push it. I have asked God for it. But you see, since 2012, this is 2014, two years later, it's been answered this morning. I didn't get frustrated that I didn't see the angels, that they were not manifesting or things were not moving. But I waited. In his logistic time, in his eternal time, he sent them this morning. So one is in charge of the ministry. So whatever I need in the ministry, I go to him. I tell him what I need and he will bring it. The second angel is what we call a domestic angel, domestic angel. The administrator of my personal life and family. That's why I can never, wrong people can never come into my life. Reason, because I have a domestic angel. A domestic angel also bears my name. He bears my name. He bears God's name first and my name second as his last name. Ha 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 Which means that angel is attached to me for the rest of my life on the earth. So if I need food, do you guys not hear that after the temptation of Jesus, angels came and ministered to him? What did you think that mean? They brought him food and drink, took care of him, clothed him. That's what it means. Angels came and ministered to him. Have you not read it in the Bible? You think the angels came and stood there singing a song, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty. You think that's what the angels came to do to sing him up? No, they came to bring him physical food. Read the Bible, you will see angels bringing food, bringing clothing, bringing money, bringing things, doing things, because they are our servants. So I now have a domestic angel. Mama Gertrude, your son has a domestic angel. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Mkwokoko, your son has a domestic angel. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. My mercy, your son now has a domestic angel. Hallelujah. It means whatever I want in my family, he is to organize my family. He helped me to organize my family. He protects, he organizes, he brings things. Whatever the family needs, he will bring it. <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, let, let me share something with you. I didn't know how deep this kind of thing could be until I read about an angel that is called Breakthrough. And Breakthrough, before he was reassigned, before he was reassigned, to, to come to America to work. There's an angel that is here in America. See, angels have specific locations and they are attached to specific individuals based on their, their job, the kingdom investment in those people. Now, 
breakthrough was first and foremost attached to an archbishop, a Pentecostal archbishop, the first Pentecostal man in Africa, Archbishop Benson Idahosa. I don't call people late or dead because Christians don't die and Christians are never late. They are always early. We will say late, so so and so late, so so and so dead. There is nothing like that. That angel was attached to him. And that was why we saw so much miracle in the life of that man and through that man in a city where there is much witch doctors than anywhere else in the world. He succeeded and brought all the witch doctors under his feet. They feared him. In fact, they worshipped him. I'm serious. The witches worship him. They fear him. Because whatever he says will happen. If he said to somebody in government, you are going, you are going. If you dare insult him, he will deal with you. He will tell you that if you, are, if you were a minister in government, in charge of petroleum, in charge of education or whatever, if you are a governor, you dare insult him. You are in big trouble. If he says what is going to happen to you, that's what will happen to you. In fact, while you are thinking about coming to shoot him, somebody will shoot you. That's how powerful the power of God and the manifestation. And we didn't know what was behind it. There was an angel called Breakthrough that was assigned to him and that followed him. An angel followed him. Think about that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is why the power of God was so mighty with this guy. And I'm so happy and I give God thanks for giving me, sending to me, so that life will be easier, ministry will be easier. On this Thanksgiving day, I received my package of two angels. Let me read to you verse number six, uh, 16 of Genesis 28. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, surely the Lord is in this place. Surely, which means I vow. There was, a, there was a dream I had last night, another dream. Satan, your manipulation has failed, so that is just it. I'm just letting you know that. I, and I cancel your plans, your ideas, your thoughts, your imagination. It cannot work. Just know that it cannot work here. I destroy it. I destroy it. It cannot work. There is no tactics. You run out of tactics. So I'm just letting you know you failed. And let me tell you something. Even those who have known me in the past that I have known, they will come to me. They will come to me. They will never go to somebody else. It is I who, who carries the anointing. So I just want to inform you. Because it seems that you don't know what is happening in the kingdom. You are so short-sighted by your own. So listen to me. I carry the anointing so people will come to me. So ask to be blessed, not to other people who will ruin them. And so, Lord Jesus, my honor, I am sending my angels to go forward to the four corners of the earth, I command every human being that I have known and I do not know who are to come under my ministry and church. I command them be released right now from the continent of Africa, from Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, Tanzania, Uganda, Lesotho, Botswana, Mozambique, 
Zambia, Zimbabwe, Togo, Benin Republic, Senegal, Gambia, Algeria, Libya, Morocco, Egypt, everywhere where human beings are, Liberia, Syria alone, without Ebola, without Ebola, I don't need Ebola. And any one of them who has it must be cured and healed supernaturally if there is no medicine to heal them. Because by your wound we are healed. What we do is we claim the healing. Therefore go to Syria, Lord and Liberia. I am standing here today and I put an end to the plague called Ebola. Stop! God, whatever people have done that has brought this about, please cease. Cease. Let your anger cease. Every nation in Africa release human beings in their millions in each nation, millions upon millions, and bring them forth. Out of the billions in China and India, give me millions upon millions in Japan, in Korea, in all of Europe, all of the Caribbeans, all of the all of the South Pacific, all of the Indian Ocean Islands, all of the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia. I take territories today for you. Let the angels, I am telling you, angels, to move in and bring in the harvest with all the good content of the land and the people. And all of God's people say, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Amen. God, we thank you for giving us people to build, to dominate, to build with us. Hallelujah. See, that is how you defeat the enemy. He tried to talk to you about stuff. You enforce what you know the kingdom says about you. You enforce it as we just enforce it now. Amen. And Lord, I thank you for releasing to us the millionaires and billionaires who are meek, gentle, humble, smart and intelligent for you. Top business men and women, release them. Thank you, Jesus. Jacob says, surely, when he awoke from his sleep, surely the Lord is in this place. Mm. And I was not aware of it. Where you are, you think God is not there. The job you are doing, you think God is not involved. I am a junkie for the presence of God. For the blessing and the power of the living God. I am a junkie for it. Are you aware that where you are currently, ah, that the Lord God is there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, the reason why many are moving, going to places, going here, going there, looking, shopping for God, is because they are not even aware that God dwells inside them. Dark place of God is where they are. Have you called his presence to be in your bedroom, to be where you live? Have you called the morning glory cloud to come upon the roof, upon the cloud where you are, the sky above you. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said he was not aware of it. Jacob said so when he woke up. Many of you are still sleeping. After God has given you a vision, you keep sleeping. 
How do you sleep? By not doing anything with it? We go to church and sing, stand up, stand up for Jesus. And some people are sitting, sitting for Jesus. Sleeping, sleeping for Jesus. Confused, confused for Jesus. That's not what he says, he says stand. Wake up. Wake up, wake up for Jesus, you soldiers of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some, some are still singing this song. I surrender some. I surrender some. All to him. The King of Glory, I surrender some. That's the song. It should be, I surrender all. Not some. You want to give God money, you sit down and calculate. Why should I give him this? <laughs> Go back and read the story of Abel, Cain and Abel and see. Or the story of Noah. There are many a times that you will not know that God is where you are until you give him a burnt offering. He'll show up. After all, in my culture, until a very strong whiskey or gin, very strong ugogoro, very strong pami, very strong kai kai is poor. The ancestors do not wake up. I don't know how long they've been sleeping. They won't wake up. Demons will not come out. Fallen angel will not come down. And those in the other camp knows what to use to bring them out, to bring them to come and help them. They will give money. They will give strong alcohol. They will offer any kind of sacrifices that is needed. Human or animal. Money or food. And gods and goddesses, let me tell you guys, gods and goddesses in the other camp are simply demons and fallen angels. That's who they are. In our own camp, gods and goddesses are saints of God. When I say saints, I'm not talking about Roman Catholic saints. Or Anglican sense. Or Orthodox sense. No. I'm talking of you and I. And those of our spiritual fathers who have gone ahead of us. He said he was not aware of it. Look at 17. Jacob was afraid. And said. How awesome. Is this place? Ha 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 ha! Let me share something that you guys needed to be aware of. I have been wanting to say it, and the Holy Spirit has been holding me back. Hallelujah! If you obey Jesus and follow His word, and I have. I have created a dream for you, or God has sent it directly into you, and I have called it to manifest one way or the other, prophetic, miraculous, however, or through the word, or I wrote it down for you and read it. If I have blessed you with my mouth, because I carry the power to curse and destroy and the power to bless and prosper. I do. I'm aware of it. This is not a boasting. It's what I'm aware about myself. Because the one who is greater than the one that is in the world is in me. And in you. Hallelujah. Now if you have received. Inherited a dream. Or from Jesus. Or if. I have blessed you. Or you have enough faith to enter into the blessing in the word. In the word of God. 
Now, it makes heaven to be accessible to you. There are many a times that heaven is not accessible to you until somebody that is in league, in alliance with heaven, blazes you or speaks a word over you. And when that is spoken over you, for example, if you release a financial blessings upon me, or you call me and you say to me, I have been praying for you, I'm praying for your ministry, and my spirit say, yes, you have. Then, if you are standing with me in ministry and in life, I'm not looking for just those who want to support my ministry. I'm looking for those who will support me. Because that's how the prophets, that's how the prophets and people of God, that's how they were taken care of in the Bible, so that they can take care of the large majority of people that God want them to take care of. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. That is what we call impartation. When Isaac spoke into Jacob, what he was doing is what we call impartation. I will come back to it on Friday night. Tonight we will have no service. On Friday night, that's tomorrow. I'll be talking about impartation. From Genesis 15 and Genesis 28, I will talk to you about impartation. And I will talk more about the power of impartation when I have finished with dreams. When we finish this convention, especially when we enter the prophetic convention in the last week of December and the first week of January. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Impartation is either God coming to you directly to speak into you or to bless you and to give you a mandate or a man from God like myself pour into you the blessing, the prosperity, the word, the miracle, the prophecy. What happens when I will do this? When I will give to you a bit of what is in me, and it passes into you, what happened to you is, you will begin to dream dreams. Real dreams from heaven will happen to you. You see, on all this time, we never hear of Jacob dreaming a dream until Isaac has passed on to him the blessing of Abraham. Until Isaac has planted in him an impartation of what is in him. Until what is strong in a great person is passed to you, you can never have a God-given dream of vision. Until Isaac blessed Jacob with his own dream. He passed his dream and vision to Jacob. That's when God came to Jacob. That's how Jacob began to dream godly dream. You are still dreaming satanic dream. You are still anointed with satanic anointing because somebody like myself have not spent time. You have not spent time with me for me to impart to you my dream and vision from Christ so that you will begin to dream real dream and have real anointing from the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's why pythons are still chasing you in the dream. That's why buffaloes are hitting you on your back in the dream. That's why lions are attacking you in the dreams. That's why Queen of the Coast is still coming to you to try to bring you back to be her servant in the dream. That's why you are still married to Belle in your dream. That's why even though you are in America or Canada, you are still in the country you were originally born. 
because you do not know what we call the law of category levels. Please write that down for me. The laws of category levels. There are levels. We are not all equals. We are not. We are all born equal, but we are not all equal. This has nothing to do with color. <laughs> yep. I have seen a midget, what we call small people, carried a tall person and slammed him, gave him a smack down. Think about that. So it's not about how tall or how small you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your dream pattern will change. You need to change your dream pattern. And it will only come when I release the blessing and impart to you the things of God. Then I remove you and cut you off. Chain those who are pursuing you, who are chasing you. I chain them down with the chain that I have, the supernatural chain I have, and lock them up with the supernatural key that I have. And then unchain you and unlock you. And then you begin to dream, real dream. You will dream of the government giving you a contract to execute, to build a road, or to purchase computers. <laughs> of about $50 million. You dream about it and you call me and tell me. And I'll tell you I'm not praying about it because it's done. I call it done and I ask you to go. And two days later you receive a call. From a friend who knows a friend who knows a friend. And they say you should join them in supper. To have dinner with them and you go to have dinner. And they, and they raise this that they are looking for somebody to supply this for government. They are looking for somebody who will be supplying this to the United Nations. They are looking for somebody who will be supplying this to the prison. They are looking for somebody who will be supplying this to the company. An oil company, a bank. They are looking for somebody who will do this, who will do that. And we, we think somebody suggested you. And you say, yes, I'm available. And right in there, somebody writes you a check for a million dollars and said, use this to go and bid and get it. You and I, were in business right now. Just like that. The stranger. And it hook up. After all, in my own life, the best thing that has happened to me has come from strangers that I do not know who they are. Anyway, you are still looking at your own people to come and bless you. You will wait. You will wait and wait and wait till you die. Your own people will never help you. Because they know your father and mother. They know how you were born anyway. They know how small or how big your house is. Where you come from. <laughs> so they will not. Open your heart. That's why those who are racist. Are cursed. Those who are tribal, tribalistic, are cursed. Because you've cursed yourself. You've closed yourself from receiving from people that God sent here to the earth for you. There are people who were sent to the earth because of you, if you didn't know it. The devil sent some people here to stop you. But God sent the more battalions here for you. Have you asked God to give you those people who were sent for you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How awesome is this place? Jacob said, this is none. This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Wherever God meets you has become the house of God. Wherever God has touched you has become the gate of heaven. The time is coming, said Jesus, 
when those who want to worship God will worship him, they will no longer, he's no longer in Jerusalem, although Jerusalem is still our holy place. Don't forget, forget about that. Jerusalem is still the city of God. Okay? But Jesus came and break it down for us and said to us, Jerusalem can be anywhere where you are with God. Anywhere I am with you and you all gather, become your Jerusalem. The church has become the new Jerusalem. Where you dream a dream that is from God, the dream, now listen to the secret of this, a godly dream that contains your future, your greatness, your prosperity, everything you need, is the gates of heaven for you. The gate of heaven for you is a dream or a vision that God has put inside you. Hallelujah. The house of God means the plenty life, the glory life, the luxury life. The house of God is the vision and the dream God has put in you. A vision and a dream contains everything you need for your life. And the one place where everything you need for your life can be easily accessed is the house of God. The house of God, which means heaven itself. Or also a dream and a vision is your gate for you to go in and out and be blessed. Do not leave the gate that protects you and what you carry. You carry a divine thing inside you. People of God, I am going to preach this, what Jacob said. I'm going to preach this in a large crowd for pastors. I'm going to be talking to pastors and bishops about this. I'm being told that's what is going to happen. The gate of heaven is the dream and vision that you must focus and concentrate. Everything you do must rally around this vision and dream in your lifetime. You go in and out of this dream. This dream becomes the gate for you. It becomes the house of God for you. Because God dwells in it, you dwell in it. Without it, you are nothing. I'm loving this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to stop there at verse number 18. I will continue uh, in verse number uh, uh, 17. That's where I want to stop because it's very powerful. Jacob said, this is, this, is, this is the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. On this Thanksgiving day, I want you to be aware of something. If God was not with you, you will not be alive right now. If God wasn't with you, you will not have been able to achieve the, the big, the medium, or the small that you've achieved in your this year. There are still things that are to be achieved. But when you spend time to thank God for what he has done for you, then God will come to give you more. Now that we are talking about dreams and vision, by next year, when I'll be doing this same program, annual convention, there will be so many testimonies. Because what we are talking about today is going to be a big fruit in a year's time, in many years to come. Many of you will marvel I will be grateful that you are with me. But begin now to thank God for what he has, he has, uh, he has allowed you to test the things in the house of God. He has allowed you to test, to come in and out of the gate of heaven. At least you've seen things, miracles. 
Now, if you have received a miracle from God, then that tells you that there is more for you. Hallelujah. Be appreciative and thankful and be ready for more. Let's celebrate the communion of thanksgiving and appreciation. In the night in which Jesus gave himself for us, he took this bread and he took this cup and he blessed it and gave thanks. Dear Father, let your spirit come upon this wine and let your spirit come upon this bread. That there will be for us a communion in the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our king, our friend, our brother. Father, we give you thanks for what he has done for us. And we receive this with meekness and thanksgiving. We thank you for every good thing that you've done for us throughout this year. We want to tell you how much we appreciate you, how much we are grateful and thankful, and how much we look forward to the bigger things that are about to happen. In Jesus' name, amen. And then, Lord, in this covenant, in this covenant of a new beginning of new things, we thank you and we believe you. Now, I am asked to release people from bondage. Every human being who are under bondage and you are listening or you are watching, I, in the name of Jesus, by the power conferred upon me, by you, Christ, and by your people, I release people from cancer. So right now, if you are watching the video, Please touch me. Stretch your hand and touch me. Touch my hand. Place your hand upon whatever you are using to watch. Cancer come out in the name of Jesus. Ear infection and problems disappear. All those who are blind, new sight grow and eyes open. Those who are Death, hearing, I recreate your hearing. Everyone who have joint pains in the name of Jesus, receive new bones. I recreate your bone structures in the name of Jesus. If due to Sickness, you've lost the hair on your head. I touch your head. And I command hair to grow back. As when you were a young person. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I command you cancer to die. You demon that comes to eat somebody's organ. As cancer vanish. Now, if you need a replacement of organ, this is your time. Before that, I am calling every pain in your body to disappear. Pain, just leave. Spirit of torment, go. 
spirit of punishment from hell, go back. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone with mental problem, in the name of Jesus, whatever is blocking your mind from pro functioning properly, in Jesus' name, go! I recreate your mind in the name of Jesus. I recreate your mind. Depression, stress, all kind of mental problems. Leave! Leg problems. Leg problem. Anything that has atrophied in your body. I command the life of Jesus to be poured, pour in into this person right now. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who is having problem in the stomach. You cannot make babies. You cannot carry a baby. This is your time. I recreate your womb. And if you are a man and the problem with you, I restore your manhood. I restore your virility. I restore your vitality. I restore the power to make children. The power to give pleasure. And harmony to deepen love that is already there. Now I'm going to deal with bad dreams. In this new covenant that is Christ. I command bad dreams in your life. Disappear. And do not come back. I stop bad dreams. From coming back into your life. I stop every satanic bondage and attack in your life. And in whatever you do, I put a stop to them in Jesus' name. Roll! Roll like a lion! Yes, Kambaro Simba! Nerako Tembarando! Kembasaka Yambarasi! If there is problem in your brain and you have something else in your brain to help it function, I command that thing to disappear and to turn into real functioning brain. Knee problems. Knee problems. You are healed right now. Hallelujah. Shoulder problems, you're healed. Acid reflux, go. Sickle cell anemia, disappear. If you eat, and after five minutes of eating, you have to go to the bathroom. And it all goes, nothing steady. I recreate your intestine and everything that is connected with your body absorbing food. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Skin problems. If you are having skin problems, skin problems, growth in the body, thyroid gland growing. Prostate cancer. I curse you. I command you to live in Jesus' name. Cancer of the throat disappear in Jesus' name. Embarrassment and harassment from hell. Get back and don't come back. Amen. 
Lord, in the name of Jesus, I'm bringing all the nations of the world to you. Any nation that has a bad leader in any country, any continent, I am removing those bad leaders now. Let the wind blow and remove them and dethrone them and their children forever in Jesus' name. I am removing wicked pastors, greedy pastors, pastors that have no time for their people. I command they and their churches and the organization to tumble and fall. Political parties that are wicked to human beings, that are not listening to the cry of the poor, I'm commanding them to die in Jesus' name. Lord, I command disaster to happen to politicians, those who are wicked, those who are there for greed. Let problem comes upon them and let them flee. I replace them with children of the living God. Everyone who is using the television, the internet, the radio, for evil, Lord, attack them. Judge them quickly. Everyone who are using money to do evil, Lord, judgment upon them right now. Everyone in position of leadership who are using it for wickedness, judgment right now. Every professor in any college or university who are doing it for selfishness, who are using it to oppose God, judge them right now. Any human being who are destroying other people's marriages, who are speaking to husband, to wife, to abandon their marriages. Judgment right now. I bring every sickness and disease that is in your body under the authority of Jesus. By his wounds you've been healed. Every curse upon your life I remove them because Christ has removed them for you. Amen. Many of you are going to feel heat come upon you. Some of you are going to feel cold come upon you because the Spirit of God is acting. He said, when I call the sickness out, he will do it. And if anybody is on a wheelchair, I command the power of God to fall on you. Get out of that wheelchair and walk. If you use a crutch, you are going to throw it down. Because new leg will grow. New hand will grow. New ears will grow. New eyes will grow. New, I mean, things are growing. Angels bring new body parts into these people's life. So that they will enjoy life and fulfill their destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I curse in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been stealing and eating your money and defiling your body, in Jesus' name I curse them. When Jesus on that good Friday take this bread, I take it, consecrate it. He said, take you, eat you. This is my body which is broken for you. That's why we call out this massive thing to happen. I call money into your life. I call vehicles into your life for you to drive and fulfill the plan of God in your life to contribute to the kingdom. Houses, education, whatever you need is yours now. He took the cup and he gave thanks. In this cup, 
in this cup is blood, sin, and every problem I've been dealt with. Therefore, we curse the power of sin. We destroy the function of the devil and satanic anointing. In Jesus' mighty name. Anybody who attack you is in trouble. Anybody who hates you is in trouble. Because the power of the Almighty is at work in you. Finally, we pray, we bring under our feet every organization or religion that hate Christians and Jews. Let disaster overtake them. I destroy their intelligence. Scatter them. Wherever they are, scatter them. God scatter them. People of God, listen to what's going to happen. Listen to what I'm going to ask God. Listen to what I'm going to ask God because I'm taking the war from the physical to the spiritual. So listen to what's going to happen. Listen to what I'm going to say. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to focus on Al Shabaab of Somalia, Boko Haram of Nigeria, ISIS of North Syria and North Iraq. I want your eye to focus on the Taliban and Al Qaeda and all the affiliates anywhere they are in the world. Yes. Organized. I'm private. Yes. Because you said when we bring things to you, you now will listen formally, legally. In Christ Jesus, we bring these organizations to you. And this is what we want to happen to them. Because their hands are soiled with blood. Yes. And they are in league with the spirit of murder and destruction. Therefore, Lord, I remove the war that they are fighting against Christians, against other good Muslims, and against the Jews, even against those who do not believe in nothing, who are ripe to be reaped into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Therefore, I stand here as your servant this day of Thanksgiving 2004 in America and proclaim before the whole world I want you, dear Jesus, formally, a man on earth is asking you yes. to release to us angels from heaven. Let the Star War break out, finally. We have waited for so long, and it has been a physical war. I am taking all these people and all the warfare. I'm bringing spirits to come and fight wars on the earth. <laughs> finally. Let the stars of heaven come to the earth. And let the destruction, let all these people be captured. Those who want to run away, let them be shot. Amen. Those who have run and hidden themselves among the people, let them be captured and betrayed. 
and let them be jailed for all time. Lord, in Jesus' name, I destroy their intelligence. I curse their intelligence. I curse their bullets. I curse their guns. I curse their money. I curse their leadership. I curse their rulers. I curse their supporters. I curse their education. I curse their allies. I curse the road and everywhere where they are and where they work. I curse their military weapons. I curse their mind and their body. In Jesus' name. And now angels take over. Lord, send me violent angels from heaven. Send me violent stars from heaven to do warfare. Now, next. Every power of darkness that has been fighting your people, doesn't allow them to succeed in their businesses, stop them from having the best job that you'll have. I curse those spirits, those people. I remove them from power. And Lord, I give this power to your people. In the name of Jesus, people of God, receive power. Let the power of God come upon you for you to take over businesses, take over government, take over household, take over marriages. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean that because you're a woman, you should not be in charge of the marriage. Or because you're a man. You allow outsiders to come and run your marriage. It's enough. Enough is enough. She bukayando. Ya suri kayambari. Muri sukundambaram. Sikunda ya suri. Mendo kandarobe. Sakundamba simburu. Ye Ruseko Yesu. I bless each and every one of you on this Thanksgiving day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power of God has gone forth. Many of you will testify that the Lord is good. And blessed is everyone who trusts in Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Go, multiply, be fruitful. Subdue, have dominion, rule. Hallelujah. 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 Amen and amen. I will see you guys on Friday night by 9 p.m. God be with you, 9 p.m. Central Time. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Bishop. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that Angel? Oh, baby. How are you? Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You're welcome. We love you too. Thank you, Bishop. Happy Thanksgiving and enjoy your day. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> you too. Happy Hello. Happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Kenya. Thank you. <laughs> and you too. Bye bye. Oh yeah. Bye. Maria. Yes, sir. Happy Thanksgiving to you, my mom. Thank you, Felicia de Pasqua. Oh, Felicia, Felicia de Pasqua to you. Yes, it means Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, yes. Thank you for bringing that Spanish. We love it. We love you. You know that. All right. Good. Good. Okay, I'll talk to everyone later. Bye-bye. Lord, we give you thanks.
and we know what has gone forth will happen. Thank you for giving prosperity to your people and blessing them forever and ever. Amen.